Edit, Start Webinar, Start. Hi, everybody. I am Blake Cabot. I am the owner of facepaint.com, and I have the great Linnea, uh, Honor B. Novak. And we are going to do girls' favorite designs, as evidenced by the fact that we have a boy. I know. Right I don't oh. have enough uh, practice board with the girls. Sorry. But, you know, in the modern era, is that a boy? We don't know. I have we don't know. It, could, it could be anything. You know, it's uh, it could be. Uh, anyway, so we're going to do some girl designs. Always a good set. Uh, fun thing to do. Uh, Linnea has been uh, a fabulous person. And we got a, we got a new palette of hers coming up uh, yeah. that we're going to be promoting and giving a webinar for. So uh, anyway, uh, Linnea, take it away. Thank you, Blake. Hello, everyone. So excited to be back once again for another webinar. And today's theme is girls' favorite animals. But I won't be doing any unicorns. LOD uh, did that and are the queen of unicorns. And I'm not uh, it's, I'm not very fond of painting those. So I'm not going to do the unicorn, but other cute uh, girly animals. Okay. So I would like to know where you're all from. So please type that in. So Blake can and I can see where you all are from. It's always fun. Always fun. Uh, yeah, always. <laughs> I agree. Uh, and I'm so sorry about uh, all the boys' faces in the typical girl webinar, but I don't have uh, enough practice board with the girl faces, so um, I have to buy some more. I think. <laughs> always, always. Oh, okay, boy. I'll turn off your video so we can get to the 14 designs that we're doing today. <laughs> 14. <laughs> Oh, oh my god no, we have never done 14 designs never I hope to manage... no, we're not going to do it today i just want to say that for the no, record <laughs> but i hope to manage to do five but at least four but if we can That's hurry true. up a little bit i think i can maybe manage to do five we have to see Hello, how much time. netherlands new zealand wyoming dubai oregon albuquerque new mexico and new mexico oh my god and... thank hello guys hello texas uh Portage, Indiana, if I hope I pronounced that, Wakanda, mm -hmm. Illinois. Hey, Air, Iris. And uh, hi, hi, Lisa from Pennsylvania. You are one of my absolute favorite artists, says Lisa. There we go. Oh, thank you. You're so cute. Thank you. Thank you. It Hello, makes me Mexico, so Wisconsin, Germany, Denver, Colorado. Dear Lord, where are all these people, I ask you? <laughs> hey, well, everywhere. Everywhere is where they are. I Hello, think they like... Girl, girl favorite animal theme. <laughs> well, who doesn't love girl? I mean, you know, it's uh, <laughs> hello, Sheffield, UK. Hello, Philadelphia. Hello, Portugal. Hello. California, hello. USA. That's a lovely spot. <laughs> hello, everyone. Absolutely. So uh, the first animal I'm going to show you today is a cute kitty cat. Okay, so um, you can do, uh, when I am on the job and I am in a very hurry, if I get a long line, I usually just do Hello, the eyes more. and ears here and maybe the nose, but skip the muscle part. But uh, today I'm going to show a full face. But mm -hmm. if you're on a job and want to um, have more like a line buster, you can just skip this part. Okay. Hello, Italy. Hello, Belgium. Hello. So I'm going to start with some uh, white and uh, uh, petal shaped sponge because I like that it's a little bit rounded here. It's perfect when you are creating uh, the muscle area. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fit this bit, squeeze it a little. I hope you're not disappointed because I'm not painting a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Even if that's one of the girls' favorite ones. Yeah, I think I think you're right about Elodie owning that market. <laughs> she she's pretty much uh, she 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 is in fact the, the unicorn queen. <laughs> yes, she really is. Hello, Italy. I hope to meet her in the UK now in October for the yeah. conference. 
<laughs> she was talking about where she was going. I know she was going to Mexico. I don't know if she's going yeah. to the UK. <laughs> so I'm going to start with creating two triangles here. It's going okay. to be a part of the ears, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, Studio Nora Flora says, I've seen so many unicorns, don't mind doing something else. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Not just unicorns. That, that's going to be our new motto for facepaint.com. Hello, Philippines. And now I use this round part here mm -hmm. to create the muscle part, okay? And I'm just painting the upper lip part and leave the lower lip part, okay? Like this. We take it up a little bit here. Okay, so now we get two triangles and the muscle part, okay? Now I'm just going to switch to the other side and load it with the kid's favorite color. I always ask them, what color do you want uh, on your cat? Do you want blue, yellow, uh, orange, pink, purple, whatever they want. So I'm going to use uh, it's a color from Superstar called mm -hmm. Cherry Blossom Bloom. Mm -hmm. It's very shimmering. Hello, Venezuela. Hello, Mexico. Hello, Kent, UK. And hello, Lima, Peru. Good evening, good day, good morning, wherever you're from. I haven't had anybody from Australia yet. That would be more the good day. Now I'm asking the child to close their eyes and we're going to Paint some here over the eyes. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to load this a bit more so you can see it better in this light. And so are girls easier to paint than boys or do boys fidget more? Uh, my experience is that some boys are having a hard time to sit still uh, yeah. for a longer time. And they don't, uh, they don't like uh, when you have brushes uh, close to the eyes. Mm. So that's why it's good to have a sponge. Gotcha. And there's no way you can clamp them in so they can't move. <laughs> I have no? the claw hand. You know, I have the claw hands that sort of keep their arms, legs, and body just completely centered, like Clockwork Orange. No, no, that yeah. would be wrong. Yeah. That'd be wrong. But then you have those boys that uh, are like almost sleeping when you are painting them. So some, um, yes, some of them are, are very good. That's good. It's good to have good boys every now and then. <laughs> it's like when you're on a birthday party, you can see directly if it is a boy's party or a girl's party. The girls are always more calm and the boys are like, oh, running around and hitting all those balloon swords and everything. My, my favorite moment was one of my son's birthday parties when he was young. One kid accidentally pops a balloon, and then all the boys decided to pop every single balloon. And oh. they started, and there were some on the ceiling, so they started throwing the forks at the balloons at the ceiling. Needless to say... Oh. But my wife was not too pleased. But it made for a great story. Yeah. Hello, what? South Carolina. Now I'm picking up a, a star stencil and a little finger sponge mm -hmm. here. Just to have some, some cute stars here on the sheet. Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay. Okay. We can even put some here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, now I'm going to have uh, a filbert brush. Like hello, this. Trinidad and Tobago. And um, hello, Dulce. I'm taking a purple color. Mm -hmm. I got a little shimmer on it. Shimmer in it, sorry. So, and I'm going to paint the nose. Mm -hmm. The um, the filbert brush are very good when you're creating uh, animal nose because uh, if this wasn't a board uh, or if, if it was a real face, this will fit perfectly uh, on the nose uh, on the nose part and the, the nose wing. Mm -hmm. Now I'm picking up the same uh, color. Hello, Devin UK. Hello. Very number of people from the UK. That's great. I love people from the UK. My family was once English. A very long time. Now I'm just going to do the ears. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay. And now I'm going to ask them to close their eyes. You can do this part here. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do the mus uh, muscle. What what brand are you using for the purple? Uh, this one is uh, Global Pearl Lilac. From Superstar. That is superstar, right? No, global. Global, sorry. This, I, I said uh, superstar. Global art. Global. But uh, superstar has a great one called, called uh, I think it is Tiger. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, Kim. Purple. I got one, per one lilac and one purple. And now we're doing going to do some cute little dots in three rows. Sure. Like this. And here we can, uh, of course, uh, paint the the lip part. Mm -hmm. Have some glitter, of course. You have to have glitter. And uh, now I'm picking up some white, and I'm using a long liner brush. It's perfect uh, for making the whiskers. And you can also make some nice highlights here. Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay, so here is a quick kitty cat design. Okay. Sweet. That's a very nice kitty cat. Thank you. Uh, which okay. liner brush are you using, Bella asks? Uh, the lighter brush here was uh, from Blazing Brush by uh, Marcella. Yes. And what number Light was it? Fun is the, the name of the brush. Okay. It has a very, very long, nice 
Uh, it's perfect for making whiskers. Hello, Switzerland. Hello, Yorkshire. Hello, Western Massachusetts. Hello. Oh, so why, why, why? I already said that. Hello, DC. I missed that. And next one, also a boy this time. <laughs> Uh, it's going to. Uh, We're doing. To I, I promise you, these are girl designs, even though we haven't showed you a girl board yet. The rest of the boards are girls. Okay? The rest of the boards are girls. Okay. So, uh, well, you're right on schedule for for the four. It's 15 minutes in, so you're perfect. Okay, perfect. You just... okay, perfect. So uh, the next one we're going to do is. Um, a uh, cute bunny design, a rabbit. Perfect for Easter mode. I think okay. that was the number one liner, uh, Lori. Yes, number one. Yep. So I'm going to start with uh, a nice um, rainbow cake mm -hmm. and um, a petal shaped sponge. Okay. okay. I'm going to load this one. Of course, you can use whichever colors you want. You can have single colors, or you can use a rainbow cake. It doesn't matter. But it gives a quick uh, effect with the rainbow cakes, OK? Uh, Nora Flora says, I've been painting uh, more boy cats than girls. Yes. <laughs> That's good. The boys also like the cat design. Uh, what is the, the split cake you're using? And this one is called a uh, sugar splash. By? I think it's Silver Farm. Which one? Uh, Rainbow Cake, Silver Farm Cake. Oh, it's, a, it's fab. Okay. So now I'm going to ask them to close their eyes once you again. Are loved in Mexico, Linnea. Oh, Cynthia you. says, hi from Mexico, Linnea. We love you. It's a dream vacation of mine. <laughs> you should go. I, I went to Mexico City a couple of weeks, about a month ago, month and a half ago. And it was. I have never, was just... I have never been in Mexico or US or anywhere part of that world. You've never been to the Western Hemisphere? No, never. Wow. Just in Europe and uh, like Egypt. That silly farm was fab. Okay, my mistake, uh, Nora. Okay, so I'm making, I'm just squeezing this so it becomes a little bit thinner uh -huh. to make this part in case otherwise it will be too big. So two parts there and I cover the eyes. Okay. And now I'm picking Bella up. says you ought to go to San, uh, uh, Vancouver. <laughs> and uh, we're using Silly Farm. So that's what we're using. And red. And now I'm picking up the white again. Uh, and a filbert brush. Uh -huh. Because it's a round shape. Very, very good. Now, it, uh, I know that it's uh, Silly Farm's using Superstar in their cakes. So they're using that, that's that's the actual paint. Um, and they put together the split cakes on their own. And so that's how that's why. And that's so then they and they brand the split cakes, but they pick the colors and stuff. But the but um, Superstar sends them the paint. That's the base of it. I'm just going to create two ears here. Like this. And we can use this here just to make some some hair. Mm -hmm. And now we can pull this down to the nose. And here you can, of course, you can use a, a sponge if you want to make a... If I want a job, I just paint the ears and give them a carrot for the fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I got time, you can, of course, 
make a muscle here as well. Right. It's all depending on how much time you got. It does depend on that, doesn't it? Yeah. But this is, um, you know, how long would this design take you, for example, that you're doing in real, About in real time? three minutes. Yeah. Three, four minutes, maybe. But I have painted uh, this a lot of times, so. Norway loves you, too. That's, ah! there. You've probably been in Norway. Yes, I have been in Norway. <laughs> Given that you were right next door to it, it probably makes certain I sense. I have been in, like... Oslo, uh, Kungsvinga. Hmm? Well, you're ahead of me. I have never been in Norway. I'm just painting a little bit of the lower lip here. Okay. Okay. And uh, now I can use... Uh, I can take this purple again. Okay. I'll paint a little, little heart here. Okay. And we can take the, the stencils again and put some stars or hearts or flowers or whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And now I'm picking up, um, we can pick the purple again. So, um, but if it is a boy, um, I usually use black for outline. Okay. Or dark blue, also very uh, nice. So I'm starting with the ears. And it's going to look like this part of the ear is folded a bit. Like this. Just picking up some more water. Okay. Uh, what what brush and paint is used for the stencil? Um, for this? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm using a finger sponge okay. and the purple uh, a purple color from and this one was from global go still global global body yes. yeah perfect Pearl lilac i was in a competition competition once um and i won those colors from a global hmm. and it was uh it was a new collection then with the, they have a, like a new patterns on the lids and new color, shimmering colors. So they had a competition. So right. that's why I got to try them. Okay. You heard it here first. <laughs> it was a, it was a long time ago. So I usually have them at home here uh, when I'm practicing, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And I created some cool jeans body painting with a blue metallic one. Very cool. But that one is uh, empty. Okay, and we can take some, not uh, not some dots in a row like like the cat, mm -hmm. but we are making them with a uh, little hair there and some whiskers, of course. Okay. And of course, you can add this with some highlights uh, if you want. And we can also. Um, I would like to. The kids love this. I think I'm hard, uh, having a hard time hearing you right now. Oh, sorry. Do you hear me now? Yeah, great. Okay. 
So the kids always love when I ask them to reach one of their uh, fingers, and I like to paint like a like a carrot on their uh, fingers, like this. So um, yeah, uh, they always like that. So beautiful, says Cynthia. Thank you, Cynthia. Just take, let's see. Oh, sorry. I bumped this one. Let's see. And some black. They always love to do like having their finger to the mouth when you're mm -hmm. taking a photo. And they're pretending like all the carrots. <laughs> so that was the bunny design. I hope you liked it. It's a very beautiful bunny. Thank you. Loving it, says Bridget. <laughs> Thank you. Very cute. Hello from Ohio, says Kate. You can see, now I got the girl one, okay? Finally, a girl one. How hard was that, I asked myself. So, I have to find some more. I promise. I, <laughs> I, get, I get the same problem while I'm doing boy designs. I get too many girl also them so mm -hmm. so next uh, design we're going to do we're going to do a butterfly um and i'm going to do in two different ones so i'm going to um to use uh, a sponge for the base mm -hmm. and for what side i'm going to show you how to do a, uh, a butterfly using just teardrops and on the other side, I'm going to show you how you can do the butterfly using a one stroke. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm not doing a full one stroke, I'm just uh, combining sponges and brushes. Okay. So, uh, and that way you can choose whichever you are, uh, are comfortable with and whichever you want to do. But I want to show you some different styles. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, um, like when I have some older kids, uh, they are they are more comfortable with using um, uh, brushes on the eyelids. So in that case, I can do a full one stroke butterfly. But if it is a very young kid, like a four year old or five year old, they are just squeeing, squinking. Is that the mm -hmm. word? Squeezing their eyes. So um, that way it won't look nice if you're making one stroke. So that's why it's perfect to use uh, a sponge uh, on the younger kids. Okay. And um, how do you clean brushes between kids? I got, uh, I got a two uh, water container uh, parts. Uh, one with just clean water uh, for when I'm loading. And mm -hmm. then I got one with uh, that I'm rinsing at first uh, with the, um, with the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the one from a uh, brush bath, brush bath in it. Okay, yeah. Um, so that's how the, the paint released from the brush and it's have some, uh, some cleaning uh, uh, ingredients in it. Uh, so that's my first um, uh, clean, and then I have in a clean, more cleaner water. So I clean it in two systems, and uh, then after, but I always uh, use one sponge for each kid. But the brushes right. I clean between. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to use a rainbow cake. This one is from Superstar, and it's Suzanne called... loves, loves, loves the brush bath. Yes, it's good. I have a lot of it. I always use it. Every time I switch water, I always put in some new, and it's perfect for, for the brushes. So, um, and it really cleans the, the brushes. So, just a little tiny bit in the water uh, before you are putting the water in, and it would be a little bit, yeah, you know, bubbles on top. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use the same sponge again, and I'm going to have 
the round part on the darker part here, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm loading this one up. I really like the, this color because I like the combination of yellow and uh, the pink. The girls love it. Mm -hmm. Like this. Okay. And I'm going to ask them to close their eyes. And I'm going to have the round part here. And I can use the smaller part from the inside here. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, like this. And I'm going to squeeze to squeeze this one. Like this. Okay. okay. And now uh, I'm making the same on the other side. It's hard when you have the camera uh, in the way. <laughs> I bet. I bet that's true. Uh, try to make it uh, as symmetrical as possible. And now, so for this one, you can see that the shape is a little bit triangled, like this. Uh, and I don't want the wings to be too close to each other. I want this space here, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, for the lower part, I want to have a more rounded shape, but I don't want it to be too close to this because I want some space here so you can see that it's separate wings. Mm -hmm. And I don't want it to come under the nose because in that way, the lower wings are going to be too big. Okay, so I'm making the round shape here. Laura says she loves this. Thank Maybe you. she loves you. It's hard to say. She just says love. <laughs> I mean, it could be either way, honestly. Uh, I take that as uh, that she loves me. Okay. I mean, how can you turn down love? I mean, is it is it <laughs> can love be bad? I ask. You. <laughs> okay. and we shouldn't answer that. This is a little too philosophical for this group. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's not philosophical enough. Could go that direction. Okay. So now we get the base. And I'm going to show you two different styles. Okay. So I'm going to start with the teardrop one. Okay. And for that, I'm using, uh, it's nice to have a darker color now. Or white. Whichever you want. And you can have purple, you can have dark blue, you can have white, whichever you want. And um, I'm using this one called the Snow Patrol Shimmer mm -hmm. from Superstar. Sure. I'm going to load it with a number four round brush. Mm -hmm. This color is very, very nice on skin. So I'm going to paint this part now. So I'm starting with making a large teardrop down here, okay? Mm -hmm. And I make it big and then thinner, 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 okay? Mm -hmm. And now from this one, I want to go down like this. I want all the lines to be directed here, so I don't put the line here or there, okay? Mm -hmm. And then now we're making a little smaller one, like this. Uh, here. This. Okay. Okay. And here you can, of course, make some drops here and there if you want some dots. And for the lower part, I'm doing a teardrop from here towards the inner corner of the eye. Okay. And here I can do a swirl.
like this. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. And I like and I like to make either if you have a bling what was the, or you want can you repeat the name, Sid Bella? Uh, what is the name? Is the shimmer shade? Uh, this one is called Petrol uh, Snow Petrol Shimmer. Snow Petrol Shimmer. There we go. Yes. It is a shimmer, in fact. And here you can just have one big teardrop like this. So imagine this on this side as well. It's very cute. And of course, if you want to have it a little extra, you have to add some glitter, of course. Uh, maybe some lipstick, and you can have some some white highlights here and there, if you want. Mm -hmm. You can add some some stars in it. It's always nice. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how to do with a one stroke here. Okay. So I'm going to pick a one stroke. I am going to use the one from the flower bouquet palette. I'm going to use the blue one that I call Bluebell. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Bella. Uh, Sue says, that's beautiful. And Thank Alexandra you. says, and I'm quoting here, wow. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to have, um, this is a five, eight inch um, angle brush. And I have to have the darkest part on the tip of the brush here, okay? So I'm just loading this one up. Like this. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just going to use this, only this um, very, very tip of the brush. To make to make this line here okay and now I am having the darkest part on the outside you can see you there right mm -hmm. and I'm going to be one and down so in the end I'm just going to lift the brush a little bit so you are using this part here Okay, mm -hmm. and here I can start a little bit lower here to just make a smaller one. Okay. And here I'm going to have like this. Okay. And for the lower part, I'm going to make One, like this, and then one. Okay. And here you can use the same brush to make some nice stripes here. Let's see if I can make it with the, the camera here. Mm -hmm. Like this. And And a very cute effect is that if you are using a double dip technique, you can load uh, a flower brush, it's, a petal brush. It's snow petrol, not petrol. I mispronounced that. Thanks, Melissa. <laughs> um, do you have a color rule about... Uh, uh, Kim says she really appreciates that uh, butterfly wing. I'll give that a try. Lori says, do you have a rule about uh, a color rule about choosing which color you do in line work or split cake to make the design look its best? Yes, I know that some colors are better with others. Like if I'm creating something with the orange, I know that, okay, but blue is a nice color to that. Uh, and uh, so, and I, I know that... Uh, 
for the pink, it's very nice to have this this type of blue color or purple. I will not use like a brown here uh, for, for the pink. Um, so um, I think whichever I think, this one is, um, I want to have a nice contrast. So I don't mm -hmm. want it to be too much alike. I want it to pop out. So right. you just have to try and make some, uh, have some practice boards and try different kinds and have your favorites. Okay. Okay. So? Uh, we also did a lecture, uh, I guess a couple, well, it wasn't a lecture exactly, but we did uh, color theory. Um, with Juliet Eve a couple of weeks ago. So if you look on facepaint.com on Facebook, you can see that if you want to see color combinations and that kind of yes. thing. That's great. And if you want to see more uh, different kinds of butterflies, I made a webinar. Uh, it's a very long time ago, but uh, I know that Blake still got it, the video. It's yep. called Creative Butterflies. So check that one out. That's true. And we're going to do butterflies in uh, September again yes. with uh, Linnea. So you get, you get two shots of butterflies. <laughs> so here's the two different kinds of butterflies you can create. You know, of course, you can put a rainbow here. You can put some flowers and a lot of glitter, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to have the next girl. See? Mm hmm and uh, this uh, animal is a flamingo. So we're going to make it a little bit tropical here. Okay. Okay. Something for the summer. Okay. So I'm going to take this uh, beautiful palette of mine. And I'm going to take the rose garden, the pink one here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm picking that one out. And I have a, a one stroke brush, a five eight inch. Mm -hmm. I'm going to load this a bit. You can use a filbert brush as well. It, it doesn't matter uh, because uh, the flamingo is very rounded in its shape. So. We can try with this one or we can take a little bit brush. So now we're going to create a round head here. Like this. Something like this maybe. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have its neck coming down here. Want the head okay. a little bit bigger. I think it's a little bit small. Best bird ever, says Melissa. <laughs> uh, well, another question is, how do the dots look 3D because of the blue underneath? The last uh, for, for, for the butterfly? Yeah. The, these? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, I did a double dip technique. So I used um, a flower brush uh, and then I loaded it with the white mm -hmm. and then I just wiped off the very, very edge, the paint on the very, very edge here uh, on a towel. And then mm -hmm. I dipped it in creamy, uh, darker paint. Okay. Okay. And uh, will you do competitions again sometimes? <laughs> I don't know. I'm very afraid and scared when it comes to competition, but I am. Um, I'm, I'm joining this. Uh, I'm going to the UK Face and Border Art Convention in October, and mm -hmm. they have this challenge that uh, lasts one year. So I'm painting a design each month in different themes. Uh, that they have picked uh, to um, do this uh, big uh, contest, face painter of the year contest. So I am in, in a one year contest right now, but I'm not sure how it's going to go. It's I'm sure you'll do great. I am sure you will do great. 
There's a lot of attraction to the flamingos. So uh, <laughs> Cocoa Beach, Florida here. Happy spring. Uh, flamingos are huge here. I always yeah. wanted to learn the flingo, says Glory. And so we're going to learn the flamingo. Perfect. I think that sounds great. I'm making three round shapes here um, for the, the feathers here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we're going to leave this to dry a little bit. And we're going to load uh, white paint. I'm using a number three round brush and I'm going to make the, what's it called, Blake, help me. Uh, the beak. Beak, okay, I didn't know that word. <laughs> I'm like the nose of the bird. <laughs> you know? Well, the we could do that too. We could do <laughs> a nose on the flamingo bird. I'm okay with that. Okay. You have to remember that English isn't my first language, okay? <laughs> it's, it's, hey, Zuri. My phone went off. Uh, I'd love to go too. You'd probably do really well, uh, says uh, Nora. And she's true. Now we are picking up another color uh, from the flower bouquet palette. It is called Tropical Hibiscus. It mm -hmm. looks like this. So we're going to make some uh, tropical flowers here. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to move this a little bit here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make some nice petals here. Okay. Yuri says this is pretty. And just to give you a warning, you got about 13 minutes. Okay. I think we maybe can manage to do five. Let's see. Five? <laughs> we have never done five. Never happens. Okay. I'm going to speed it up a bit. <laughs> and now I'm taking um, a one stroke that is called summer leaf. It mm -hmm. looks like and I'm going to just blow this little part. This is a very small um, half in brush. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make these. Mm Okay, and uh, here, of course, you can use uh, you can use uh, like a blue for the sky here, uh, or you can uh, make like a sunset. Mm -hmm. We can take this one is from my other crate palette called uh, this one is the spooky palette. Okay. So I have one that's called pumpkin um, that we can take. We got some nice warm colors here. We can make like so it looks like a little sunset there. Okay. Okay. And now we can have some, we can pick up some white. Just make some little nice details here. Mm -hmm. And now I'm taking up a black one. And we are going to continue with the flamingo. Of course. Uh, which split cake are you using for the flowers? For the flowers? Mm -hmm. It was tropical hibiscus and summer leaf. Okay. From, from uh, the flower bouquet palette. Yeah. 
her own creation. She's a genius. She is. I have put a studies. lot of love into it. Okay. And now I'm just going to outline this little bird here. I'm not very good at painting eyes, so I like to oh, Now take... you tell me. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have had this class. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Blade. Uh, what brush are you using for the outline? It's uh, this was a number two round brush. Okay. Yeah, and you see when I'm making this part here, I'm just going to swoof, swoof, swoof. Like this. Your hand's blocking a little bit. Okay, there we go. I think I see it. Okay. And of course, if you want, you can outline the, the flower as well. You can you can create so much with this. Whichever you want. But it, it's a very cute. Uh, mm -hmm. And of course, some nice highlights here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we got our little it's very easy to do you can use single colors you don't have to use one strokes if you don't feel comfortable with it you can use a filbert brush you can use a one stroke brush whichever you want uh -huh. okay okay blake i think we got time for the last one no we have eight minutes yeah. can we do it okay so i am going to do the final design right uh, it's going to be a hamster. Hamster? Wow. <laughs> it's my kid's favorite animals right now. We've got two hamsters uh, that is called, they have Swedish names, but in English they are called Snow Nose mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Moon Ball. <laughs> okay. Snow Nose, <laughs> Moon Ball. Makes snow total news sense. Means, uh, snow news means snow nose, and Luna Bolan calls like Luna is moon, so moon ball because she's very fat, so it's like a ball. So, <laughs> yes, uh, we go. we're going to start making like it's uh, it's like an eternity symbol here uh -huh. with white. Like okay. uh, it's going to be the fat cheeks here. And now we're going to paint the body. And fill this in mm -hmm. like this. And then we're going to, uh, to pick up a gray paint. Because I got Siberian uh, dwarf hamsters. So they are silver, so that's why I'm picking that color today. But of course, you can use brown. Or uh, someone green. said your 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 flamingo was amazing. You are the best, says Alexandra. Oh, and, thank uh, you. Facebook user says uh, Linnea is the best instructor ever. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so cute to me. Thank you. And some feet here, and this is the uh, the ears here. And the head, like this. And it's going to hold his hands. Of course like it is. Of course it is. There's a great line from somebody that says, men love women, women love children, children love hamsters. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Great line. I would like that printed on a shirt. I would too. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's a great idea. Now we're going to outline this little friend here okay
like this. And now we're painting a little nose here. And we have, he's very happy because he's been eating a lot here. And uh, then we're going to make two big eyes here. We're going to have some white highlights as well. And then we're going to paint like, have some more water. Use it. So. Okay. Wow. That's cute. Hamsters are cute, aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they just cute? They really are. And because we want the eyes to dry a bit, so now we can take uh, and frame it with a nice color. Mm -hmm. I'm picking, uh, you can pick whatever you want. If it is a boy, they usually want. Uh, maybe. Nora says, Ooh, this is adorable. Oh, thank you. But I'm making this called Viola from the Flower Bouquet palette. But you can use two mm -hmm. whichever colors you want. You, you can have rainbow, you can have blue, you can have purple, whichever you want. And we're just going to follow the eyebrows like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, then we can take some white again. We can make some nice teardrops here. Just to frame it. Or you can do some swirls, whichever you want. Mm -hmm. Let's have some more water. Okay. Colory Faces says, it is so cute. <laughs> There's a lot of cute factor here. I think there is a high <laughs> cute, cute factor. A lot of cute factors. Yeah, I think so. And of course, add some nice stars to it. Absolutely. And some glitters, a lot of glitters, you know. The kids love it. And now we're going to have some for the ears. And doot, doot. And here you can, of course, you can take a, you can take a, a finger sponge or you can have a tiny, tiny brush and just making something here. Mm -hmm. Very, very pretty. And here you can put a gem or you can use like this. tiny teardrops mm -hmm. like this. And there we got our little hamster. We got Isn't a little hamster. Cute? I can take it up so you can have it closer so you can see like this okay awesome Aww. very very cute thank you very much that the boys was adorable. Are as well but uh yeah. so but the girls are very much to hamsters at least here in sweden uh, uh, anyway. facebook user asked what is your favorite practice board i like these ones from the uh, Sparkling faces. I really like these ones uh, because I like that they are colored. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I know that uh, LOD has made some nice as well, uh, and I yeah. think Baby Fun is having some. But I really like these one from Sally and Lynch has some yeah. sparkling faces. Yeah, sparkling faces. Yep. Okay. Well, that is. Um, that is it. So thank you very much. We've done our five, count them five designs, which is a, a record. Uh, and Linnea, one minute thank to you. go. <laughs> With one minute to spare. Uh, so next week uh, on March 25th at 5.30 p.m. Eastern, we are going to have Tamina doing urban character. She's a fabulous designer and a lot of fun. And there's there's Linnea's split cake. Um, and then after that, uh, in on April 1st, uh, it's at 2 p.m. Eastern. We're going to have Easter Arm Designs with Wendy LaBelga, who is a fabulous designer. 
And, um, and we're going to have Linnea back in September, uh, at the end of September, September 30th. And she is going to do some, uh, wonderful butterflies for those who have not seen it. Everybody is thanking you. Everybody loves everything you've done. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us and have Thank a great you. evening. Thank Bye. you. Bye.